Hey, what's up everyone? It's Nylon from SurrenderedStrength.com and in this video I just want to hit on a few things that I'm, I've taken away from, from my battle, if you will, with COVID. And, you know, my, I guess I'll talk about my symptoms first because, you know, everyone has random specific symptoms to themselves. For me, it was the first two days I felt like I had just a normal flu and then after that you know other than some some aches i was i was feeling pretty good after day two so day three four and five you know again feeling good those days and then all of a sudden day day five i started getting some some more severe muscle pains or muscle aches and it was you know through through my back and legs and and, it, and that lasted two, yeah, two or three days before everything kind of finally started to go away. And, and you know, after that, um, after that, I really, you know, I really started feeling better other than I would, I would get, I would get um, winded, you know, doing, doing some things and um, and I'm still still feeling that at the moment, but again, for the most part, I'm pretty much 100%. So um, I just wanted to, to hit on a few things that I've taken away from, from my week and a half, 10 days of, of uh, you know, being, being sick with, with COVID. And number one, health reign, health reigns supreme. You know, physically, mentally, spiritually. If you are healthy, then you are able to do the things that you want to do. You are able to overcome any challenges that come your way because you are going to be physically, mentally, and spiritually more able. So physically, you know, as I was kind of down for the count, really not able to do too much for my family, um, it, it kind of hit me like there are some things that I could could have been doing or needed to do to help out my family. And, you know, at this point in, in our life, maybe it's not, those things weren't really that important. We can get by without doing those things. But if I was somewhere else, if if it was a different point in time where I needed to to do something and I was sick and not able to physically, well, that's going to put my family in a whole, whole world of hurt. So, you know, being healthy physically is, is huge. And, you know, it's pretty important to take care of ourselves, you know, again, in all three areas, but physically, if you are not able to do something because you're sick, well, somebody's suffering. So mentally, you know, if you are strong mentally, if you've done things in the past that you've overcome challenges, then the challenges that you face now, be it sickness, be it whatever, you know, it's going to be easier or less challenging and you're going to have, you know, a better outlook towards the future and, and towards, the, towards the current challenge. And spiritually, holy crap if I not spiritually or if I didn't have the the spiritual strength that I I did have the the week that I had with COVID would have been a hell of a lot more challenging but I knew because through prayers I knew that you know I was going to be okay that my family was going to be okay so I could lean and trust on and trust in God that you know everything was going to be okay and I didn't really have to worry about it I was going to get better my family was going to be fine so that spiritual strength really really helped me out you know through those times because you know you never know what's going to happen but so again number one health health reign supreme number two you know, maybe, maybe the face coverings and things that we're being told to do, maybe they aren't as bad 
as what we think. You know, especially if you're going somewhere where you're going to be around people that you don't know where they've been or, or you know, who they've been around. And so maybe they're not as bad as we think and could potentially save our lives. Now, do I agree that we should be wearing them 24-7 every time or everywhere we go if we're just stepping outside or, you know, going into our secluded communities? Then I don't, I don't think we need to. But if you want to, why the hell not? You know, if it's going to possibly protect you, keep you healthy, then I don't, I don't really have a, a problem with face coverings as much anymore. And I'll probably wear them a little bit more than what I did in the past. So those are the the two major takeaways that I had with COVID. And you know, the the next thing is, you know, why don't we take care of ourselves more? If we are, you know, get sick, and even if we are just looking at it from a physical point, physical standpoint, and we, you know, we're healthy, we're able to take care of people, but then we get sick and all of a sudden we become a burden and people have to take care of us. And you know, now we're no good to anybody, realistically. But yet, there's so many little things that we can do, be it eating healthy, be it exercising just a little bit. You know, we can, we can do the little things to help us stay healthier. You don't even need to go to the gym. You don't need to lift a lot of weight. You have a, an amazing tool in your body that, that you can use and you know, improve just at home, just through body weight exercises. So that's where I'm gonna kind of lead, or leave this, this video at, is you know, start doing things to make yourself healthier, make yourself more available you know sur getting stronger and surrendering your strength so you are able to help people and whether it's your family whether it's people in your community you know there's no reason we should be getting sick and you know becoming a burden for the people that need us and um, you know I'm gonna have a uh, another video on the things that I've taken away from watching the election and things like that in in a day or to in a day or so and you know it, it all comes back to you know everyone wants to take care of themselves and getting getting things but you're not taking care of your body the tool that you actually need to use the other tools that you're buying take care of your body first then you can start using tools that we have bought or are going to buy. So again, those are my three take takeaways from um, my little battle with COVID and um, you know, health reigns supreme. I'm gonna leave it right there. If you're not doing things to take, to, to take your health in your own hands, then, then you're really missing the boat. So, with that, good luck, God's strength, stay healthy.